Call this meeting of the Y.K. Fiscal Court to order on this 27th day of September 2022 at about 5 o'clock. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, Ann Melton to lead us in a prayer and a pledge to the flag. Heavenly Father, we come to you today asking for your guidance, wisdom, and support as we begin this meeting. Help us engage in meaningful discussion. Allow us as a group to grow closer and to nurture the bonds of our community. In your name we pray, amen. 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 I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Before you can have the minutes of the September 13th meeting uh, and the uh, September 19th, okay. motion by Sam Conn, second by Jason Burke. Sure. Uh, is there any discussion, correction, or additions on either one of those minutes? Discussions, corrections, or additions on either one of the sets of the Speaking of that, I'm favor say aye. 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 I host like so. Motion carries. Y'all right, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Chair. Yeah. We need to add the chair to the bill. Uh, before you have the bill, please, the payments and transfers. Is there a late list? A yes. late list and a yes. late, late list. And a late, late list. Including, or including a late second. list and a late, late list. Yeah. Motion by Larry Cannon. Second for. Uh, Second by Jason Bullock. For discussion, we'll second real quick for the late, late list. Discussion. I'm looking for a late, late list. I got a late list. Do you see the late key? Yeah. What is that? What, uh, what is What is it? Two. <coughs> water service, so water pictures. Where's that at? What? It's on our late list. Two. What's the amount? Yeah. Third one from the bottom, yeah. on the back. That's uh, ARPA money that we uh, donated towards Kitty Cat House, and she had water lines laid and run into the house, which I have that on the desk judge for us to review before the check is released. Any further discussion? Mm -hmm. Yeah, person that they were looking for is asking me. I've been over me already. Folks say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. The bills are paid. Uh, you, before you have a copy, the second reading, we've already done the budget amendment 2023-3. Uh, need to, we need to have a second reading on it. Make a motion to accept. Motion to Sam Small. Second. Second by Larry Morphy. Is there any discussion? Being none, I'm going to say aye. 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 I'm sorry. Roll call, please. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Count? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay, it passes. Okay. The next thing we have, uh, I've talked to some of you about it, but uh, we have to ever so often redo the resolution for the deferred comp for the state that allows them to take us to take it out pre-tax and all those things and uh, we have a few participants in so i need a motion for that we, I'll, I'll make a motion motion jason bolt second we just get a second with joe bond well uh, you didn't get that resolution one. isn't it this for that one is? yeah it's on the back page of the second last 14. I went double sliding the same paper, sorry. Right there. I see the electrical permit. Right here. Go to the last page and it's on the opposite side. There you go. Oh, okay, okay, I see it, okay. Okay. 
We have motion seconds. Any further discussion? Go ahead, go ahead and uh, roll call that. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Town? Yes. Northview? Yes. Small? Yes. Okay. Then we have a, a uh, contract. We, we appointed Larry a black pocket or electrical inspector. But to satisfy the state, we had a couple more steps we had to do. Uh, one is we need to approve the uh, contract with the electrical inspector, which we basically did before with the motion, but let's go ahead and do that again. All the prices are still the same. Uh, the prices are listed on the, on the, uh, or the CIC yeah, I see them. <laughs> yeah, the contract just says for him to follow the ordinance. Yeah, which in the ordinance of the prices are still the same as the ordinance. I don't, yeah, I don't remember to know that the prices are the same. Yeah. The only increase is electrical permits, $10. $10 electric permit fee. You've been doing that for you, and that's an increase. Okay. I'll make a motion to accept. Okay. Motion with Jason? I second. Second, Larry. <coughs> More for you. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign, that's it. Now you have, uh, along the same lines, we have ordinance 2023-4 uh, for electrical inspector, and this is to prove his fees by ordinance. So, and are the same fees that this on the resolution just passed. And that electrical permit, who gets that money? He does. It's a little extra. For, that's the only increase they're getting, and they've had this set, fee set for a while. Miranda, you don't have his phone number, do you? Or? I do. It's in the office. Yes. I it for you afterwards. Okay. I'll make, I'll make a motion. Motion by Larry Town. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Any further discussion? Who's that last finger count? No. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. yes. Johnston? Yes. Town? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. And moving right along. Okay, I'm putting up for you. Elizabeth Smith, as a sub mill driver, is only used when another mill driver is not there. Uh, and to rate of ten, I got five more at ten ninety four per hour. Yeah, <laughs> it's Sunday. The twenty fifth will be starting day. So just yes. Barn. Yes. Johnston? Yes. Count? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. <clears throat> okay. Next we have advertised and it's budgeted for uh, a uh, uh, break park. Uh, hand that to uh, Jason and let uh, Bo come on up. What happened to Bo over there? He fell in the spray park. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha ha. You don't reckon he got beat up, do you, Bo? Yeah. Uh, I heard, really the ball I heard he was that. standing on one of the sprayers and then he put in a chair. Here's the purchase amount. Here it is right here, love. Where? 
clear 63 yes, three. Yes, that's it. Okay. And this is the picture of the outlay. Now you you flipped a little bit there. Up. So it, this is the three different, three different drawings. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Here's the dimensions right here. So I think there's probably about 12 different ceilings. Which these little ones right here that they 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 work too. All of these put out water. Is this the BAM right here? Yeah. yeah. Where is this one going at? So right now we're talking to the engineer. We're trying to put it over there towards the softball field area in the lower part of it. Yeah. And just kind of fence it in. That way. We want to make it more uniform over there. Soccer, softball, playground equipment. So that's that's the game plan at the engineering stage. If not, we're playing bagel. Uh, I'll be on the other side of the softball. Put that new playground equipment. If that we don't get approved. Okay. Well, we go ahead and read this bid. I guess. Yeah, read the bid oh. to so we got an air, uh, a bid by DWA Recreation uh, for uh, the I don't see the area on here, but the bid was one hundred sixty-three thousand three hundred dollars, um, and the I'm trying to see does it say the area on here? What name that company? DWA play 1500 foot square area. DWA $163,300. How big is that thing, Jason? Um, 50 foot by 30, 50 by 30 feet. Wow. How much did we appropriate? The one that we purchased, what, 15 years ago was right around 70000 And there's only six. And it's, small. and it's smaller than what we've got right here. And they no asked what the dollar right? amount was. What appropriate on that? I believe it was around 170. So I'll go look it up and get the exact amount. Okay. Yeah. I believe you're, that's what I'm remembering. So, yeah, that's, that's, uh -huh. it's, it, there's nothing to, 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 to yeah. How big was it? Uh, I can't remember the size, but there's only like, there's only seven different stations. So my question, can this be added on to later on? Is this where it's? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. How many different stations is there? Uh, 12. Yeah, it's advertised for 12. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 12 stations yeah. is what it says yeah. here. 12 different stations on this one. And we're over, we're over mm -hmm. run down there at our small splash pad with people it's that's not, coming in and out. Oh, yeah, we it's have to go out. I mean, it's time. crowded and people have to leave because it's so crowded. Yeah. It is so but it just, that was still not right. Oh, yeah. The, the price one is. Here's the price one. And this is correct. Yeah, uh, Joe's got You guys want to see this? Yeah. Got a lot of order. That's so this part of what comes to the R phone. Yeah. yeah, this is appropriate for the R phone. What is that, Judge? I'm going to pay that's a page, No, that's a paperwork oh, okay. for the cost of it. Paperwork for it. Okay. You better hang on to that. Let me see. Let me see. I don't leave it. This is okay, this is one of the better things to do. Everybody that I talk to, they want everybody wants swimming pools and all of this, but this is the safe and sufficient way to go about splash pads. Uh, they have more fun and it's low maintenance, and so you don't have to deal with it as much. Okay. Well, that yeah, that's a that's a water kind of like a mushroom type deal. It shoots out. Like a mushroom. Really get in. Do oh yeah, yeah. It's not deep at all. It's all on concrete. It's just producing the water out and then it uh, drains up. out. So. Is that a concrete base or is that It'd soft? Concrete. Yeah. That way they got to run the pipe out and everything. Do we have a motion to accept? Yeah. Okay. I'll make the motion to accept the Motion by Jason Bullock. If it's a meets uh, both. Yeah, I, I think it's good. It we'll, both we'll still have to close the deal once it's approved with the engineering and everything else like that. Working, but I think it's good. And this is coming from our Yeah. It's not coming out of the second office. Second by Sam. Motion. Okay. Take it. Motion by Jason, second by Sam. Okay. Larry, second. And they did say. Take it for if you got They did say by. 
next spring they should be operating before the season rolls around. So okay, we'll this will give the kids you. something to look forward to. And this is something we could actually add to each, each yeah. time. Okay. Uh, all favor say aye. Opposed uh, like to say the motion carried. I want to recognize uh, uh, Corey Elder from Congressman's office is here. Did you want to address the court, Corey? I'll just say that I was just in the area today. I had a few meetings, just wanted to stop by and see what's going on in Ohio County. Um, put the court in with you all. If there's anything that our office can do, if there's any grants that y'all are applying for, uh, feel free to talk with me afterwards. We'd be happy to write a letter of support. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. We're ready for committee reports. And Jason, I know you have one, so if you want to start. Well, uh, Saturday we had our uh, Suicide Awareness Mental Health Walk, our third annual. Had a good crowd. Um, several people there. And so, uh, took in several donations so we'll begin we'll also do it again next September but we'll also have many things in between you know a few things in between now and September but uh, it gets bigger each year and a uh, big crowd and if you missed it this year hope again do it again next September and we appreciate Bo and the park for all your help out there for us so is any other committee reports any other committees may since the last court meeting? Uh, okay, we're ready for master's comments and requests. Uh, Same. David, you may want to bring up the date on the oh, last meeting. I'm sorry, though, that's a No, no, that's, that's a committee report. Okay. Well, there wasn't much discussed, uh, but we've got some things forthcoming at our next meeting, which is October 4th. And I'll be able to bring the court up to date a little more then. So. Where's that meeting at? Uh, He'll be in, did we, did we say that? Uh, we did, didn't it? He's off, let's see, Tim, Tim that's his name. Yeah. Tim, he's, he's uh, courteous enough to let us have the meeting up there, and that way the people from Edwards County know what crowd I think the thing on the agenda now, there are two things on the agenda, and uh, I believe we've been advised to uh, uh, hold up on one until the other's done. Uh, we're in uh, hiring a, uh, uh, a manager or a consultant for the project and acquiring the land those two both two those two things are on the table at this time and that's our next two steps would you both would you assess it that way Justin? Uh, there would have to be some changes with respect to that consulting agreement before <clears throat> it's probably something the court would consider or the, but uh, assuming some of that maybe can change, then that's something that we can look at. But not as proposed, but hopeful that things can be made. But those are two things that's on the table. We're that is one of the things that's on the table, yes. And the regional jail is what we're talking about. So if Congressman has any money for a regional jail, we'll move. Yeah, yeah, get us a basket full. Yeah. The, the, uh, uh, plus or minus, I, I, just a few million plus a minus of 20 million is what we're looking at. One estimate was under 20 and the other was over. Well, now Larry was going to donate a million. That'll help a lot. That'll, that'll help a lot. That'll help a lot. <laughs> yeah. Is there any other committee report? If not, Sam? Uh, no, I don't have anything, Joe. Thank you. Jason? No, thank you. Joe? Yeah, I need to make a motion to take $500 out of my discretionary fund. For the Eccles uh, Children's Christmas party. Okay. I'll second it. Brand to write the check. Yeah. Motion with Joe Barnes, second by Jason Bullock, to uh, to pay from uh, Joe Joe's uh, discretionary money, five hundred dollars to the Eccles Christmas party fund. Okay. Any discussion? Okay. Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Yes. Post like sign. Got it. It's something I do every year. I just didn't get it on the bills and claims. I understand. Anything else? No. Larry. Larry. I just, if you got an update, when we're going to get our black copy? No. Uh, it, uh, the contract is still at the state. Every time we talk to them, we ask them that. They have not. Relief. They have not sent it from Frankfurt back to Madisonville yet for them to get on. Um, the uh, state transportation cabinet is just, uh, I'm like, I don't want to say it, the only way I can is they're kind of holding up on it. 
Don't we need to maybe send a delegation up to Frankfurt to work on that? Yeah, it's important. We do talk about it every time we say it. And hopefully it's Sunday. I think it would help if somebody went to Frankfurt. In my no. Department of Transportation. Uh, I will ask tomorrow for another update. Would you be willing to go? Oh, yeah. But I'll get with Doug on the update, current update tomorrow. Right, then we're already almost to October. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of time, uh, I really don't think that they, they're anxious to get it time to do it this fall. I think they're looking at spring projects. Uh, and there's there's strategic reasons for that. What are the reasons? State elections next year. <laughs> we need our money. <laughs> yeah, I know. If you'll go all the way. We, we'd like to get it down before the election this year. They go in that. Well, yeah, I know, you don't think it would have anybody going first? It might. You go? Okay, so I will. I'll go. You should have seen it. I'll do it. Yeah. Look, Joe. Uh, just say the 11th. October 11th, we have two right. matches that are going to be out. Because of fall break? Oh. And okay. that's our election. That's or you be out two. I'll be out two. So okay. we have three. Do so we need to do it the week before or so the next week? So the eighteenth? Yeah. Can you guys do the eighteenth? Uh, oh, yeah. so so we'll so have no, because if we do one in October, not three, one in you're gonna have one in December. Oh, three gonna be out? Yeah, Sam's gonna be out too. I thought it was just gonna be two Larry, will you be okay if we only have three meetings for the rest of the year? Oh yeah, yeah, that would be okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Well, we'll do the one. Thing. Well, do we gotta have like a special, uh, you know, bills and claims? Just only bills and claims. Oh, December. December. Yeah. December we will do. So we have October 18th, November 15th, and December 13th. Okay. I Say that November what? So it'll be the third week each okay. week. Of the I can't do the 18th. You remember, I'm driving the bus that day. We'll rearrange it. We'll figure it out. We don't need you, Dave. We are all right. No, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Again? No, which one? We'll find someone else for the bus. Hey, read the dates to Larry. October 18th. November 15th. You're not going to be in trouble. And December 13th. Same as So December will be the second week. Probably a special call at the end of the year. Right? Yeah, probably, probably not around the third. And on December 13th, if you guys, uh, if we can, we're going to do a 4 o'clock that day. 4 o'clock on the 13th? On the 13th will be 4 o'clock. I probably won't be. Did you guys do that? We're having a little December reception. 14th, uh, December 13th will be 4 o'clock. Uh, okay. I'll send out one. Folks that are leaving. Everybody here will be invited. Like That'll be for the honor. All elected officials will be uh, invited. It'll be for the honor of those that are leaving. I'll see. We'll see okay. Uh, anybody else got anything? No, we're actually going to. Uh, we're at a meeting after the court. I'm we're at a meeting after the court meeting about the uh, four or ATV. Okay. There's an ATV meeting. Following this yeah. one in the fiscal court meeting, or anything, if you want to stay for that. Maybe I think Randy may have something he's about to say. Anybody else got anything for the good of the group? Yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little update on my situation. I talked to you the other day. Yes. Learned about the bids. I understand that completely. I just uh, kind of wanted all the magistrates to understand that uh, I, I was at the uh, the contractors bidders meeting and you know I was kind of dissatisfied because uh, you know hopefully something's going to happen but it's it's 200 feet from my bank now to that small all that debris so and, and then I got the vibes that uh, Grayson County side didn't count and I can understand that because I don't think they were declared a disaster area, but hopefully something can be done about that. I did have something very positive happen three days ago. They are logging on the other side. So hopefully they'll pull some of them big trees up from the bank because there's a tall bank there and there's trees. 
scattered among it everywhere. Uh, I talked to Carol today and I just uh, uh, want to touch bases with him when I found out the bids were too high and everything and I said well I want you to stick with your bid because I was looking this blueprint over a little better and all the burn and bury sites are they look good but there's tiling there and I've got my tiling maps we spent thirty eight thousand dollars on tiling in 2014 so it's not going to be an easy deal I'll work with them any way I can we've got wooded areas where he can bury it but it's it's not going to be an easy task. It's not going to be an easy task. Well, the contractors realize that. I'm sure that's why the bids came over so bad. Well, the, the funny part is, is I took Carol out on my place. And my place is very accessible, yet 30% of it you can't even see. 30% of it you can't even get to it to see. So, uh, you know, I, if you know, I worked in construction for 45 years, I'd hate to put a bid on cleaning that up. Anything that'll float. But I do think it's just interesting as hell. Now we see who's responsible for that river. Natural Resources Conservation Service. Had they have did what they should have five years ago, mine could have been cleaned up in one day. One day. Now I've lost an acre of ground, and there's no way in hell a long reach hole is going to reach mine. But I'm going to stick to my guns, and hopefully Carol will make a ramp down in there and get that out of there. But they even go so far as to say, I've been talking to the lady up the dam the last couple weeks, and she said uh, she's been very agreeable all along. Yet she actually told me that, well, you know, the river has a new channel now. Well. I disagree with that completely. That that channel is still where it was, and if anybody wants to be fair about anything, they'll clean that monster out of there. But uh, it's just it, it's just uh, it's crazy. It's crazy that it's been let go this long. But hopefully, hopefully, some part of it will get cleaned out. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else have anything for the good of the group? If not, this. Yeah, I'm sorry, Don. I think I uh, I was going to bring it to everyone's attention the progress that's being made on the new building up here. We're getting there slowly, very slowly, because everybody seems to wanted to drag their feet. Nobody wanted to get started unless somebody else got started. So this last week we've accomplished uh, finishing up probably three quarters of our electrical uh, the heating and cooling for the office space has been taken care of but then I've been told this last couple of days that they can't include the bay to heat or cool that bay because it's against state regulations to put a vent out there due to carbon monoxide the vehicle been there would create carbon monoxide so now they want to come back and say that there's additional uh, heating system needs to be installed in that area. So I just wanted to bring that to the court's attention that I just spoke with Marty Shepard earlier today and he gave me a figure on that uh, in addition to what's already been approved. So is that just so the it won't be on the same return chamber and bringing carbon monoxide into the office? He said because office. state regulations won't allow them to do that due to the carbon monoxide. It would have to be a, like a mini split system. And the main thing to keep in mind out there is that's the main source of water because back when it was a fire station, that's where the main come up through the floor, the floor and went across all the front bays so that they could have their fuel station for the trucks. So without that source we're going to have trouble in the winter you know with the water freezing and busting and ruining our property uh, the general contractor himself is supposed to start saturday to finish up get get going with the office finishing on this they've got the stuff work in and stuff in there so that's that's consideration we're going to have to approach is 
are we willing to, you know, what what means can we come about a mini split system put in that bay to accommodate that? I guess would be my question. We'll, we'll go ahead and uh, I told Charlie today he's going to be out a few days to get with uh, uh, everybody to see because we were we thought that was included in it when the original walkthrough was done with all the yep. contractors we thought that area was getting heat that was my understanding until you brought it to my attention last yep. night i had no idea we thinking otherwise right and i didn't know that either until i met with him up there yesterday and he informed me of that and today he called to give me the additional cost involved in that suggestion or that how much was the yeah, what more was it $3,900 additional to 28 or 12, 12, eight already approved. On the original yeah. bid, it didn't say anything about the outside bay, did it? It never, it never specified one way or the other. It just said complete install of system. And capacity wise, I mean, I think it would have been ample to do what we had first initially discussed. Uh, to take care of all of our needs across the do. whole face yeah, of that's it. That's what I thought. Uh, Actually, I really did. That, that would take care of yeah. everything in the front half, the front part. The back section back there where the two refrigeration units are going to be, I don't think it's going to be an issue. There's not running water back there, and the, uh, the heat generated off of the units themselves will be two of them. And so that's going to generate enough heat that's going to sustain the front, you know, during the winter time. So well, if you're doing a, a mini split for the garage bay, the front most part is. Yeah. So you're not doing the central heat and air for the all. Central heat and air after after all said and done is only going to be good for the office space on this. Well, evening. would it would it be better just do? Would it come in better on price if you just did mini splits on the office and a mini split on the? They probably got it installed. No, I mean I I don't I don't know that for sure. Because uh, what was the total on the heat and the cooling? Twelve eight on what they've already done. So if you did a mini split on the garage bay and a mini split thirty nine hundred piece, you'd come in cheaper. And that would have been yes. Had he, he had he didn't even throw that out there till now. Has, has he installed anything yet? Everything's complete, yeah, on his part, except for having the power running to it. Okay. So, um, the electrical contractor, I, I'm going to be safe to say 60 to 75 percent complete on his part of it, and then Saturday when the general contractor starts, we're kind of in a dilemma right now because now he's got power off of our section on the other end, and all we have is cooler running that's it we don't have any work lights nothing like that so anything we have to do we're going to have to take to a funeral home to process and he says he's not going to finish that up until that wall comes down well we can't move the wall until he gets their stuff over on that side and i i understand because it's a you know adam can attest it's sensitive uh, evidence it's in that room and Anything done to it beforehand is going to compromise their cases, and we can't have that. So they're kind of kind of passing the buck right now, as back and forth as who's who's got to do what in order to finish this up. Well, until the last week, nobody even got started. That happened back and forth. Don't get a whole lot done sometimes. I've asked uh, uh, to J uh, Jimmy and. Uh, uh, I mean, Jerry and uh, Charlie both to get with Marty and see, you know, hey, is there something we could do there yeah. to make that? Uh, I just wanted to bring to y'all's attention to what the potential could be if we don't go forward or do something or get a solution on their part because otherwise we're going to have busted water lines this winter and it's. We're, we'll, we'll get it resolved. Okay. Thank you all. Thank you. Nothing else? Good, everybody. Close meeting in Jack.